What are my top learnings from the book The McKinsey Way? So today I will talk about my five top takeaways from this book. Hi everyone, my name is Johannes Niari and on this channel we will talk about management consulting, business and mindset. And when I decided to become a management consultant a couple of years ago, I wanted to learn everything out there about management consulting to be prepared for the job. And I talked to one of my mentors and he recommended a very, very important book for me. It was The McKinsey Way, written by Ethan M. Razel. And actually, it turned out to be one of the most valuable management consulting books I've ever read. So today I want to share my top learnings from the book. The book was written in 1999 by Ethan M. Razel. He was a former management consultant at McKinsey. He worked as an associate for about three years. And what he intended to do with this book was to summarize all the learnings that he had within a firm from working in the firm in one book. So he interviewed a couple of former colleagues he interviewed a couple of McKinsey alumni and summarized all the learnings in this great book. So today I want to share my top five learnings. Learning number one, facts are friendly. So if you are a management consulting a consultant and you work for the client, you have to try to be as objective as possible. And this means that in order to make recommendations, you have to use facts. You want to get as close to the truth as possible. And the best way to do that is to collect all the facts, to collect all the data, to analyze it and make a recommendation based on data rather than on intuition. Learning number two, try to be measly, a messy and structure is your friend. So if you try to solve very complex problems, it helps you, but it also helps the client if you structure this big problem into several smaller problems. So this will make it easier to tackle the big problem. It's a um, principle that is also applied in math. If you have a complex problem that you cannot solve, try to divide it in smaller problems that you can solve. And one tool to do that is to apply the MISI principle. This means to be mutually exclusive, but collectively exhaustive. And uh, two more tools that will help you to structure your problems are basically issue or problem trees, but also frameworks that you usually have within your company or you come up with your own frameworks. Learning number three, hypotheses are very important. So if you try to develop a solution, it helps to work along hypotheses. So as you did probably in university, you develop hypotheses and try to test them. And based on the outcome of the testing, you make a conclusion. So in general, you solve problems by working through and testing through hypotheses until you come to a solution or until you come to the core of the problem. So this will help you to be much more efficient within your um, problem solving problem, uh, process. Learning number four, don't reinvent the wheel, but every client is unique. So chances are very high that if you solve a problem for a client, that this problem or at least a very similar problem has been solved by one of your colleagues before. So make sure that you identify people within your firm that already had a similar problem and ask them for their advice, ask them for their learnings and their, tool, uh, their tools that they use to solve the problem. It's very important not to copy paste what they did uh, before, but to use this as a kind of inspiration. This will help you to save a lot of time since you don't have to start from the very, very beginning, but you have something you can build on. But again, every client is unique. Don't simply copy paste. Only try to use this as an inspiration and build on it. Learning number five, your solution needs to fit the client. And what do I mean by that? This means that you need to make sure that the solution that you propose can be implemented by the client. 
So the client needs to have the right resources to do it. So this usually means that he has the right people, that he has the right um, know-how, but also that he has the cash reserves that are necessary to implement your solution. Otherwise, your solution will rather be a theoretical exercise than a um, practical recommendation. So it's very important, and I know we consultants uh, try to work in our every tower <laughs> up there and to work on very complex and theoretical great solutions, but make sure that it's practical and that your client can implement the solution. So these were the five top learnings that I had from the book, The McKinsey Way, written by Ethan M. Razel. I highly, highly recommend the book if you are a consultant or if you want to um, be a consultant. So try to get a copy of it, work through it, read through it a couple of times. There are very, very useful tips in it. So thank you for watching. If you liked the video, then hit that subscribe button. Also leave a like and a comment. Um, if you have any questions or if you simply want to engage with the community, and of course, I'm also interested if you read the book, what your learnings were from that book. And if you haven't read the book, what other consulting books you can recommend. So thank you for watching. See you soon. Bye.